Indigenous peoples and local communities are at the forefront of addressing our climate crisis and the loss of nature and biodiversity. They're also champions of sustainable development. Their stewardship of nature, their life in harmony with nature is an inspiration. An inspiration of how we need to change our way of life so that our children and grandchildren have a planet to live on. If you're watching this lecture, then you probably know all this already, but many others do not, or they think it is not as important. At the United Nations, the Equator Initiative tries to change this. We advocate for indigenous peoples and local communities, helping them make their voices heard and show the phenomenal achievements of community groups all around the world. My name is Martin Summershoe, and I'm the coordinator of the Equator Initiative. The Equator Initiative is part of the United Nations Development Program. It is best known for the Equator Prize, a prize awarded roughly every other year to outstanding indigenous peoples and local community groups all over the world. The winners are groups that protect, restore, and sustainably manage nature for the benefit of us all. Since 2002, 11 Equator Prize cycles have honored the work of 255 winning communities from over 80 countries. When I think about Equator Prize winners, I think about communities coming together to restrict fishing on their coasts so that everyone has enough to eat year round. I think about indigenous organizations protecting their ancestral territories, often large intact forests, which helps fight the climate crisis. I think about women's groups forming cooperatives and partnering with companies to sell organic ingredients for the beauty products at a fair price. All these stories are stories of actual Equator Prize winners. I invite you to learn about them. What unites these stories is that communities manage and sustainably use the environment for other benefits, such as better incomes, clean water, or more food. In the policy world, we call this approach using nature-based solutions for sustainable development. The Equator Prize honors communities, not individuals, because we believe that no single individual alone can fight the environmental crisis. Equator Prize winners are celebrated at ceremonies that take place during United Nations conferences. It is an easy way to connect true local leaders with the politicians and diplomats who should follow their wisdom and achievements. The Equator Prize often brings respect, admiration, and media attention to the winners. And that's exactly what we want to do, to shine a spotlight on those community initiatives that improve life on earth for everyone. In addition to a global award event, we also frequently host award ceremonies for winners in their countries. This helps connect the winners with government officials. Ultimately, what we want to do is to support the winners' work so that they can expand, to help them reach more people, protect more nature, or turn their models into policy that is followed by others. So that is what the Equate Initiative is really about. By honoring community level achievements, we want to bring the work of outstanding indigenous peoples and local community initiatives to the next level. Equator Prize winners become part of a network of winners where they can share and learn from each other. They take part in dialogues and workshops. And we host community events at international environmental conferences where community leaders speak, network, and exchange experiences. 20 years ago, before my time at the Equator Initiative, it was relatively unusual to have indigenous peoples and local community representatives at United Nations conferences. Today, these conferences are unthinkable without the presence of indigenous and local groups. And we are advocating for even more effective participation, honoring the rights outlined in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. We're also frequently approached by colleagues from within the United Nations. Often conference organizers struggle to find speakers who can share their experiences from the grassroots and provide real world examples of how sustainable development works at the local level. 
Our winners know what is needed to turn abstract policy proposals into work that actually benefits those who need it most. Through the Equator Initiative, we can connect our colleagues with Equator Prize winners. And often we hear back that the statements and discussions with our winners were most inspiring. Now, what resources does the Equator Initiative provide? The Equator Initiative is at the forefront of communicating the contributions of indigenous peoples and local communities to global agendas. We create case studies about every Equator Prize winner together with the winning communities. These short documents show the community's achievements and are a valuable repository of knowledge. They're often used by researchers and the winners themselves to promote their work. You can find the case study database on our website at www.equatorinitiative.org. Read and learn about how communities protect, restore, and sustainably manage nature to advance sustainable development. We also produce many videos, photo essays, and blogs. These pieces highlight the importance of indigenous peoples and local community groups as leaders in the management of natural resources. They often provide not only visually appealing stories, but also connect indigenous peoples and local community achievements and leadership to the policy world. In fact, one of my favorite anecdotes from the Equator Prize is when I explain the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to winner representatives and how it is important to take into consideration many different priorities to achieve well being in society. The matter of fact reaction of a community member was, well, Martin, that sounds like a complicated way of saying what we have done for generations. And it is precisely this wisdom that the Equator Initiative is trying to communicate to an audience of policy wants, connecting the valuable traditional ecological knowledge of indigenous peoples and local communities with the interests and sensitivities of government officials and politicians. How can you work with us? Our events are open to everyone attend the next Equator Prize ceremony, whether it is virtual or in person. Come to round tables and events we host at international conferences to connect with local leaders and contribute to the discussion. Nominate for the Equator Prize. If you're part of a local or indigenous community or organization that has successfully protected their environment, demonstrating innovative nature-based solutions, or know of a group who, that does that, nominate them for the next Equator Prize. We announced nomination periods on our website and on social media. Subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media. We frequently announce opportunities, including from other organizations on our channels or newsletters. Explore details about these avenues for engagement in the workbook. And most importantly, Join us in recognizing and supporting the wisdom and achievements of indigenous communities around you. They have the solutions for our ailing planet. We need to listen to them and help them expand their work.